Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex over at Laser Everything, and you have waited, and you have waited, and you have waited, but today is the day. We're engraving peen eggs. Get ready, here we go. Okay guys, we're over here in EasyCAD and we're ready to get started. We're going to be changing some stuff up today. Uh, we're not doing our normal, you know, uh, hatch patterns. We're definitely doing some weird settings. So um, check it out. Here we go. Uh, so first of all, we've got our little lightning bolt here. We're going to hatch it. Uh, and this is already immediately we're going to have some changes. Okay, so normally we do the straight across hatch pattern. But today we're going to be doing good old snaky. Uh, Sneaky actually works amazing for PMAGs, and you guys are going to see in just a few minutes what I mean. So we do want to set these to snake, uh, still 45 degrees and negative 45 degrees, and we just want to make sure these are both set to snake, uh, both enabled, okay? Um, we also need to set our line distance. So the first pattern that we're going to be doing today is the tan, just the standard good old PMAG tan. Uh, so for that, we're going to want a line distance of 0.0. .0 five okay and again we need to apply that to both of these hatches so 0 0.05 all right and we'll hit okay uh, and now we're hatched and ready to go we can see our new line distance down here 0 0.05 it's almost twice as far between lines as our normal uh, 0 0.254 okay so um, we're, we're spreading these lines out a little bit because we're doing plastic and the further apart the lines are the less hot they're going to get the next thing we need to do is hop into our settings and find our PMAG tan settings. So we'll just come down here and find PMAG tan. There it is. And we'll hit OK. And uh, we're working with a speed of 7500, a power of 20, and a frequency of 50. So if your hatch settings are good and your uh, parameter settings are good, then we're ready to jump over to the fiber laser and mark the tan mark. So let's jump over there and take care of that right now. Hey guys, we're over here, we're ready to do our tan mark, and I just wanted to point out that some of these settings require more passes than others. So we do want to watch how many passes we're doing. I didn't tell you how many we were doing in EasyCAD because it differs between them, okay? So uh, for the tan mark, generally two works well. That's what we're going to do right now, and then we'll take a look at it and make an assessment. Uh, but enough blabbing, let's go ahead and run our tan mark right now. And that's it guys, that's two passes on the PMAG for our tan mark, and that's looking really, really good. Uh, so we'll hop back over to the laser and set up the brown mark, and we'll do that one next. Okay guys, we're back over here, and uh, we're going to move on to our brown mark. So um, the first thing we need to do for the brown mark on the PMAG is we're actually going to change our line distance again uh, to 0.1. So we're going to have to come over here to hatch two. Change that to point 0.1. Uh, don't forget to hit apply or it won't stick uh, as hatch 1 did here. Uh, and again, hatch 1, we're going to back that up and point 0.1 and we'll hit apply. Uh, for PMAGs and plastics in general, line distance really makes the difference. It makes a difference when you're looking for different colors and it makes a difference when you're trying to get a mark on plastic without melting it. So uh, it treated almost as another parameter. Okay, um, so we're going to come over here. We're still on PMAG tan, so we just have a little bit of changes on our settings. Um, so where is it? Here it is, PMAG brown, and we'll open that up. And uh, we're working 2,000 speed, so quite a bit slower. 50 power, 50 frequency. Okay, so we're going to cook this a little more to get that nice brown color. And uh, with that good, I think we can jump back over to the fiber, and uh, let's take a look at the brown mark. Okay guys, we're all set up to run this brown mark now. Uh, so again, the number of passes changes. On the brown mark today, we're just going to be doing one pass and that should give us a perfect brown mark. Let's check it out. And there it is. You can see a great difference there between the tan and the brown and uh, that looks awesome. So we can go move on to our third and final mark, the gray mark. Tan and brown are done, so it's on to the last mark of the day, the gray mark, and we can pop in here, uh, and we're just gonna change our hatch settings one more time. We're moving to a line distance of 0 .08, uh, and that's gonna be on hatch one and hatch two. So again, uh, we'll come down here to line distance and 0 .08. 
Uh, and we do want to make sure we apply both of those double check because it won't come out if that's not set right. Um, and so this is between the two. The tan is 0.05, then the gray is 0.08, and the brown is 0.1. So um, these are a little bit closer together than the brown, but still further apart than our standard, okay? And we'll come in here to our settings library one last time uh, to find our gray mark. So we're gonna go ahead and open that up. And here it is, PMAG gray, and we'll open it, and we're back up to 6,000 speeds. So we're picking up speed again. 15 power, really light, okay? Um, we're not throwing as much power down range as we are for the tandem brown. We're really just skimming the surface of that, uh, that black plastic. And once more, a frequency of 50, okay? Uh, so with that done, we can move on to go view our final mark. See you over there. Here we are guys, ready to run the gray mark. And again, this one, we're just gonna give one pass today, maybe two, we'll see how it looks. And that's perfect, I'm not even gonna mess with it. That is an awesome gray. So you can see we now have our tan, brown, and gray marks on our PMAG, and those three are looking really, really sharp. That looks super good. Now I did just set up one final demonstration for you because I wanted to show you that uh, the focus on this is really, it's got a lot of give. There's a lot of leeway on focus and uh, you can mix and match these different colors on the PMAGs to great effect. So this demonstration will demonstrate both of those. We're gonna run all three colors that we can get in one shot uh, on one file and uh, we're gonna watch it go above and below all of these different curves and different heights and we should get something pretty nice. So let's go ahead and run it. have it guys three different colors three different line distances one awesome looking PMAG uh, and that's all there is to it it's that easy Okay, everybody, that is it. I hope you learned something about engraving PMAGs today. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get notified the next time we post a video. If you really, really loved it, check out the Patreon. Uh, it's gonna enable us to get new gear in the shop and allow me to spend more time creating videos like this for you. I'm so grateful for everybody who's decided to become a patron so far. And if you aren't, I hope that you decide to join us. Uh, also, check out the Discord. It's an amazing community filled with people that love lasers, own lasers, want to talk about lasers. So if you're looking for a friendly, open laser community, uh, our Discord server is the place you want to be. There's a link to that and the Patreon in the description right there for you. I got my magazines from Charlie Cooper's. I'm not an affiliate. They're not sponsoring this video, but it is the best place to get magazines if you live in a state that has magazine restrictions. They take care of everything right there for you at the shop and then ship it out to you. They were really inexpensive, so I highly recommend you check them out as well. There's a link to that in the description with everything else. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate you coming to visit us over here at Laser Everything. I hope this video helped you out and we'll see you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,